Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning English Pro. In this lesson, we'll be exploring English words relating to lots of different places in the city. Get ready to learn over 50 new terms with differences highlighted between American and British English. As usual, I'm posting the word list below in the description. Make sure to revise the words to ensure they really stick in your mind. And if you think I've left out your favorite place in the city, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If you have always wanted to support my channel, Learning English Pro, now is your chance. YouTube have added the super thanks button to my channel. If you enjoy one of my videos and learn a lot, you can send a little bit of love my way with a tip of your choice. Whatever the amount, I'm so grateful for your support. In this lesson for beginners, we're really going to focus on our pronunciation. So listen closely to how I pronounce the words and make sure to repeat after me. The first place you may visit in the city is the airport. Repeat after me. Airport. Or perhaps you may arrive at a city at the train station. Train station. If you come by bus, you may arrive at the bus station. Repeat after me. Bus station. If you arrive to a city by boat or ship, you can arrive at its port. This can also be called a harbour. When it comes to transport in a city, an important place is the subway. Sometimes it can be referred to as the underground. And in lots of places, especially in Europe, it will be called the metro. For those traveling by car or around the city with a car, a parking lot is an essential place. This is the American English. In British English, it is referred to as a car park. Another essential place in the city for those using a car is the gas station. And again, this is American English. In British English, it is referred to as a petrol station. A common place to stay if you're in the city is a hotel. Repeat after me. Hotel. A popular place to visit is the museum. Repeat after me. Museum. And it's hard to resist a trip to the shopping mall. This is the American English. In British English, it's referred to as a shopping center. Streets that are common for shopping are called the high street. Repeat after me. High street. A more traditional place to buy products is the market. Repeat after me. Market. As a tourist in the city, you may visit a landmark. This is an object or a feature of a landscape or town which has historical or cultural significance and is easily seen and recognized from a distance. A type of landmark is a monument. A monument is a statue building or other structure erected to commemorate a notable person or an event. A popular destination in lots of cities is the zoo. This is an establishment which maintains a collection of wild animals. And did you know there is estimated to be around 10,000 zoos around the world? Similar to the zoo is an aquarium. Repeat after me. Aquarium. For those looking for a thrill, how about an amusement park? Repeat after me. Amusement park. For some culture and perhaps some music, you might need to go to a concert hall. A concert hall can range in size from something quite small to something very big. On a much bigger scale is a stadium. Repeat after me. Stadium. 
A stadium can be used for sports events or for bigger music events. Another term for a stadium is an arena. Repeat after me, arena. A great place to visit in any city is the park. Repeat after me, park. A place which is popular with children and typically found in a park is called the playground. Repeat after me, playground. Another nice place to visit in a city is a square. This is what we call an open public space in a city centre. It can be used for community gatherings or even as a market as we discussed earlier. Another type of square in the city and sometimes a more grander affair is a plaza. Repeat after me, plaza. Let's move on to cover some religious places you can visit in a city. A Christian place of worship is referred to as a church. Repeat after me, church. A much bigger type of church is called a cathedral. Cathedral. And a much smaller type of church is called a chapel. These types of churches are usually connected to another building, like a hospital. A place of worship for Muslims is called a mosque. Repeat after me, mosque. For those of the Jewish faith, the place they congregate is called the synagogue. Synagogue. And for lots of other religions, a temple is the place of worship. Repeat after me, temple. A place which is commonly associated with worship is the graveyard. This is where the dead are buried. It may also be referred to as a cemetery. Repeat after me, cemetery. Let's move on and take a look at some educational institutions. And first up we have school. Repeat after me, school. Other places of education in the city include a college or a university. Another place which offers a vital public service is a hospital. Repeat after me, hospital. Another essential public service is the post office. This is the place where we can send our mail and it usually offers lots of additional services. A similar financial institution is the bank. Repeat after me, bank. If you need cash in a city, an important place you can go is the ATM. This is the machine in which you can withdraw your money from your bank account, ATM. An important place for the emergency services is the fire station. Repeat after me, fire station. For law enforcement, you would need to go to the police department. This can also be referred to as the police station. Another place associated with the legal system is the court. Repeat after me, court. And this is where civil or criminal cases are overseen typically by a judge. Hopefully you won't have to visit a court too often. Next up we have a supermarket and this is where we can pick up all our daily items and food. Supermarket. The place you go to wash and clean your clothes is called the laundromat. Repeat after me, laundromat. Another service which cleans your clothes is called the dry cleaners. Repeat after me, dry cleaners. 
And what about if your car needs to be repaired? The place you go is called the auto repair shop. Repeat after me. Auto repair shop. In British English, this is referred to as the mechanics. Mechanics. For local residents who like to read, a library is an essential service. Repeat after me. Library. And for those who enjoy film, the movie theatre is a fantastic place to go. Movie theatre. This can also be referred to as the cinema. Repeat after me. Cinema. If you have the urge to get fit and exercise, the gym is the place for you. Repeat after me. Gym. Let's move on. A place where governance and democracy is at work is the City Hall. Repeat after me. City Hall. If your city is a capital city, it may have some government buildings. This term covers lots of different types of government buildings, from the parliament to different types of ministries and civil service offices. And now it's time for two very undesirable places in a city which you would not want to go. First up, we have the dump. Dump. And this is where all the garbage and trash from a city goes. And our last location in our lesson is a prison. This is where inmates and criminals are incarcerated under the legal system. Prison. And prison brings us to the end of this English lesson on places in the city. Don't forget to check out the word list in the description below. If you're like me and you have a passion for English vocabulary, you should definitely head over to my channel, Learning English Pro, where you'll find lots of different topics covering lots of really interesting English vocabulary. And if you can't find what you're looking for, let me know in the comments and I'll do my very best to make a video especially for you. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a super thanks, I'd really appreciate it. And on screen are some video suggestions with you in mind, along with the link to subscribe to my YouTube channel, so hit that to get all my videos. That just leaves me to say I hope you have a fantastic day, and remember, keep learning English like a pro.